Okay, Lex, uh, let's take a quick look at your poster here. Um, uh, you need a lot of editing in your in your text here. It doesn't make, um, it's not very tight. Uh, your introduction can be, go ahead and be a paragraph, I suppose. I guess your results, I guess that's okay. It needs to be much tighter and a lot of grammatical things need to be cleaned up. But certainly your methods don't need to, uh, I don't think they, they, they can be bulleted. I think that'll help out a lot. Um, and if we have three hypotheses, that's cool, but maybe we could color code them, maybe make one, you know, red, one blue, one yellow, something like that, and then have a piece of data that, you know, shows, uh, the, you know, hypothesis one, hypothesis two, hypothesis three. Another way that can be effective is, uh, you know, you can say it as a question, let's say, have the question right above the figure and the figure is the answer, right? Kind of thing. Um, in any event, I don't like the hypotheses and the picture of the birds after we're showing the data. So maybe you can put the bird pictures over here. Because um, this is not uh, in in PDF form, it's a little hard for me to zoom in right now. But uh, I, I'm, I, I hope these are high resolution photos. My fear is that they might be a little pixelated when they get bigger. In any event, we don't need to have this giant, huge border around them. You can have the, the bird be, you know, you can crop this just to be around the bird and crop this just to be around the bird. Um, you want to say, unless you took these, you want to need to also, you need to uh, attribute who took the photos, who was the author of the photos. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is, I think, your data, correct? This is your data from um, uh, your, your field observations. Need a much you know, we need to clean that up a lot in terms of making it, one, making it bigger. I want to probably about double the size of that uh, figure. Um, the te the data here is way too jammed together. You don't, if you're doing it a consistent pattern, I can't remember, I think you were doing it at a consistent pattern. You don't necessarily need to have every single one labeled, right? You could have the first one labeled and then a tick or, you know, group one, group two, group three, and the next one labeled and then group one, group, group, group two, group three, the next one labeled, stuff like that. So there's, there's different tricks um, if you're worried about space um, that can help you get this figure uh, in a more f it's more filling of the space that you have. Uh, I'm also worried about the heat maps. Again, I can't look at them too closely. I'm worried that because they were just an export from, I mean, they, they, look, they look fine, look cool, but I'm worried they're going to be pixelated. And so the way you check that is you go in, zoom to about 300% in, in PowerPoint and see if they look... Uh, uh, non-clear, they look fuzzy, if they look pixelated, then you're going to want to do something else. Um, you, if that does happen, you might try exporting it as a PDF and cropping the PDF. That might be a higher resolution. I, I, I just don't know. I don't have enough, enough experience with the outputs from that um, program to know, but it's, a, it's at least worth trying. Uh, this guy, this appears to be a 3D graph. You'd never do 3D graphs. Kill that. No, 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 no. So you want, it's a regular bar graph. The 3D make it much harder to look at, uh, to, to, quantitatively estimate the value. So we don't want that. Um, I'm suspecting this is your poll data, right? Well, this is this, I think is all your poll data, right? So you have three hypotheses here. I'm not clear what your conclusion is. I don't know what you're saying, right? So let's make this much clearer. This is the situation. You can maybe start with the challenge, maybe a little bit of history of these guys. Um, and, and we had the history the official history, but I noticed in the poll results, some people were talking about seeing these things back in the 70s, and I think some maybe even before then, so you might want to, you know, build that into your uh, discussions, um, and I wrote it very clean. Here's my question. Boom. Here's the answer supporting it. Boom. Here's the conclusion. Here's my next hypothesis. Boom. Here's the answer testing that. Boom. Here's the conclusion. Like that, right? Rocket. Boom, 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 all the way through. Um, yeah, we can make this, uh, the logo be a bit bigger. Um, would be nice. And uh, yeah. Okay, so I'll look for a final version next week. Keep cranking. Uh, looking forward to seeing all the cool stuff you pull out of your uh, poll and also your field stuff. Thanks, man.